first things first, um, Supreme decided to announce the release of the new Air Max collaboration that they're putting out henceforth. I thought they were going to do another one. I thought it might be in a Tailwind Air Max or something along those kind of lines, but maybe that's something we're going to see later in the season. But Supreme, have, you know, usually uh, have always kind of pulled the Nike collabs off really well. I do appreciate how they always kind of, you know, opt for a model that isn't the most baitest, right? They tend to go for models that are kind of um, underloved or, you know, not rated as much as the others. And I guess the MX Plus or the MX TN, as it's known here in the UK, is one of those models. Um, it kind of gets overlooked when you look at stuff like the 98, or no, 98, you look at stuff like the 90 and 95, which, you know, the, the, the probably the most popular Air Max models here in the UK and maybe worldwide. Um, and then you look at stuff like the 98, which was, you know, really popular in my, I'd say in Europe in general, it was probably the, the most popular European shoe, probably after the Nike Air Max Plus, but I don't really see it translating that well in the US, but regardless, they decided to do it. I love the look of it. Um, this is it on the screen here, news from Supreme. They say there's the following. So we must work with Nike on a new version of the Air Max Plus along with a running hat. So that's interesting flip on it, right? They usually do a, a, you know, a four little apparel collection. So interesting they decide just to go with the shoes and the hat this time around. The shoe features a mesh upper with a custom TPU fingers at the side, raised TPU logos at a tongue and heel and TPU toe to toe cap a polyurethane midsole uh, the tuned air cushioning rubber outsole with tpu shank plate mesh tongue with reflective panels and co-branded footbed now am i the only person that loves reading the supreme descriptions i love it i love the breakdown you know snap button snap front on their clothing and stuff like i would just copy that if i had my own online store i love how they describe things today you know minute minutiae it continues, said the running hat features a dry fit feather light um, fabric with printed logo side panels, raised rubber logo at the front and an embroidered logo in the back, reflective printed logos and adjustable strap. Made exclusive for Supreme, the Air Max Plus and a running hat will be offered in three colorways available October 15th, available in Japan October 17th and the white color is available in November. So um, let's see what the images of them actually look like. It looks pretty impressive to be fair. You got this really amazing neon color, probably my favorite of the bunch um, F, um you know styled really well as well with the blue electric blue pants i mean um you know joggers whatever then you've got another color which is kind of a bit of a typical sort of air max plus sort of colorway with the sort of red you know kind of fire flame there's a flame one that they've done prior i think in the past and of course you know you've got the little um well-placed image of a dog there on the side um very reminiscent of sort of the boys that used to wear them in the area that i used to frequent where people used to put on air maxes and you know chase people that had uh that looked different from how they looked let's say that <laughs> and then you got the white pair that looks stupendous right all white with just a right white swoosh on the side really really great colorway again simply done uh very nicely pulled off as well i'm a big fan of those so you got the flame pair standard and then i, I like the neon i'm not too sure what's I'd assume the most popular one that's probably going to sell out first will probably be this. I'd assume. Or maybe it'll be the neon. What's got the red box logo? Maybe it'll be the whites, actually. Yeah, see, the white might sell out quickly because they've got this on the top, right? They've got the box logo, you know, in the classic sort of uh, markup. So that might be the one that ends up selling out quicker than everything else. But for me personally, if I had to choose, and if you're asking my opinion, which you kind of are, if you're listening to the show, I would say the neon is definitely the one. That's definitely the standout colorway. That looks absolutely amazing. And then what? Then it got obviously the free lineup. Yeah, the neon still stands out for me, even when you line them up like that. That looks the hardest. And then probably the whites next. And then I'd say that third, that kind of black with red. And then of course you've got the cap which, you know, unfortunately isn't going to fit this dome of mine. You know, my head's just too big. This was, um, I remember back in the day in Foot Locker, right? They used to do this thing where they'd sell these TN tracksuits. So at the time when tracksuits were big, there was like the standard tracksuit. And then they had like the kind of Air Max Plus sort of range that they usually do to match up with the shoes. So if there was a special release of a shoe, this was when they used to sell TNs and Air Maxes for like 120, sometimes 140, right? If you went on Little Woods, like they were really, really expensive. So if you're a kid now and you're complaining about the price of shoes, let alone the access, trust me, it was the same back in the day. So I remember what they used to do. They'd make a, like a special capsule sort of collection for Foot Locker, for Foot Locker usually. Had had them and sometimes JD Sports. And usually you'd be able, I remember this was back in the day when Foot Locker used to do like t-shirts or like what, free for 
30 or 20 i forgot how much it was but there's always like a free pack you could get they'd be on like those kind of you know tables that they have on Foot Locker and you basically would have to go really early in the day by the time you, if you went late in the day that table would be like a you know it would, it would be it kind of remind you of a primark um you know a bit of uh merchandise where everything would be everywhere but if you went early in the day you were able to choose a really cool nike t-shirt with some you know snazzy logo on it some variation of just do it and then they also so then they'll have, they'll have that and it had the normal rack of tracksuits that you could purchase right that were like anywhere between the price of like 50 to 80 pounds and then they had these tn tracksuits that were usually on the mannequin on the front and usually just the jacket alone would be like 60 quid and you'd be like what it'll blow your head and it? it'd, be, it'd be like insane to do and um so you can imagine the whole suit would maybe fetch you about 110 120 and back then it was expensive so imagine what the kids are paying now for these kiff and pata track suits that go anywhere between from like you know 180 pounds plus so sometimes 180 dollars whatever it is um they're not the cheapest so it's really interesting to see the change in things and i think in general too from what i've seen anyway kids mostly avoid wearing track not avoid but they're not it's not like a tracksuit isn't the staple that it once was in a boy's wardrobe as it was when i was in school like you had to have a really banging tracksuit when i was in school you couldn't get away with out having one but now there's it feels like kids are probably a lot more fashion conscious so they'd probably opt for you know some variation of uh some jean with some chrome house badges on it some expensive trainers some really luxe you know high fashion menswear outerwear piece maybe some you know core streetwear brand skateboarding brand top or something but regardless their outfits will fetch you know in the high thousands already you know because you know a tracksuit is a is a good equalizer because it allows people like myself especially when i was growing up you didn't have much money it allows you to flex without having to spend too much money right if you have a, a decent tracksuit even back then you could basically wear the jacket with a pair of jeans wear the bottoms of a, with a different hoodie you could just mix them up and kind of stretch out your tracksuit for as long as you can i remember even myself i only had like three maybe two tracksuits that i purchased and i think one was purchased from Foot Locker Cell and the other one was purchased from Sports Direct. They weren't the best things in the world, but the way I took care of those booties, man, you were the fool I kind of bought. You were the fool flipping Phil Knight gave them to me by hand, mate. I took real care of them, washing those things by hand in a, in a sink, in a bathtub. You know, all your hands get all red and shit because I didn't want my mum to put it in a washing machine and fuck it up and shit, right? Um, because, you know, it's a house full of boys, isn't it? She's not going to be picking a delicate wash for my items you know what i mean there's other people that probably need them oh look i just realized on the side of the hat that flame spells out supreme that's pretty cool isn't it did you see that i just noticed that now just talking that's really cool on the side of the hat you got this sort of like airbrush pattern that spelled out supreme on the side that's amazing i wonder who did that uh, it, I, I assume somebody in-house right probably ended up designing that does that cover the same thing on the on the shoes too yeah it does that's sick i just clocked that did you know clock? yeah look s-u-p-r-e-m-e -E. that is fucking awesome these are really nice man that green pair is beautiful i'd wear the fuck out of that really to be honest but yeah check those out releasing sometime this week and if you're hearing this later then they're probably gone and you're never going to get them anyway so check those out if you're interested